okay for this particular session uh, I'm just gonna look into some problems that the students may have for the Zap to Firefox uh, configuration uh, of course beginning I've already started my web code over here All right. so we'll be using the web code extensively inside our lab and I'm gonna start by OAuth Zap So it's running. Now, uh, if you can reach here, okay, uh, that is pretty good. But if you are getting an error message of a particular port, which is 8080, uh, you can't access it. Uh, that is because the web good itself uses this 8080 port. So what you should do, uh, you can either refer to one of my earlier uh, movie clip for that solution, is you don't actually need to set anything here, but you do need to go to the option and change the port. Now to change the port, it is actually at the local proxy. And you will have seen that I basically uh, move my port from 8080 which is having a conflict with web to 8090 now uh, you do have to take note of two things one basically uh, try not to use the 8080 because uh, web is actually using it and uh, there's another port that you should try to avoid is 8081 that is because this uh, web wolf is pointing to 8081 any other port is okay, but I just uh, chose this particular number, 8090. Right, so I'm not going to uh, okay this, I'll just click a cancel this. Now I already have my Firefox installed, so uh, it is the latest Firefox at this current moment. Now to actually do manual integration to this uh, Firefox or this configuration to Firefox is actually are no longer required if you have a new version of uh, Firefox. What you should do is you just scroll down a bit and you will basically see that uh, if you're using a newer version of Firefox, you can actually use the plug and hack particular uh, configuration or you can actually point it to this particular URL but uh, another easy way to do this is to just use the launch browser uh, by default you are actually pointing to the JX browser which is it comes with the OASZ app but let me just point this to Firefox and click the launch browser I'll close this I'll minimize it I can't close it this aside a little bit so what I have over here is the OAP zap actually uh, launches my Firefox so see my Firefox is actually running so I have my Firefox over here and uh, it basically configure for me Right. So now this uh, browser, which is the Firefox browser, is automatically configured to proxy via Zap. And uh, if I were to go to okay, web code, let's say so this is the port. here what I will actually reach web code and what's interesting here is if you look at the OAP zap now it's already going through this OAP zap so you're already getting uh, data you're already getting information going through OAP zap then reaching the web code uh, page itself 
Wi-Fi. So this is a very fast way to actually uh, configure your OAP Zap with your Firefox.